In this video, we're going to take a look at the video store example, which is really all the concepts of 161A and B, putting everything together. Um, there's not that many new things, maybe one optional enumerated data type. But other than that, it's all the concepts that you have learned so far. So if you look here on the left-hand side window, we have we use multiple files. Uh, I'll show you all the files that we have real quick in this folder. We have video.h video.cpp that has a struct and all the struct related functions. Then we have tools.h and tools.cpp, which has all the utility functions like menu and validation, data validation and things like that. And then of course we have the driver.cpp, which is the main file and the text file. Okay, so our goal is to read from this text file. It has a list of movies and populate an array so it's be an array of structs, array of one struct. And when we are done, we make whatever edits during the program and we are done, we write back to the same file. So the same file has all the edits. So if a movie was removed, it would be updated in this file. If a movie was added, it would be updated. So the file will get updated when we quit the program. Okay, that's the idea behind this. And so it's really the exit point of 161B and the entry point into 162. So the first assignment in 162 would be very similar to this. Okay, so we're going to take a look at video.h. And if you notice here, you can use the pragma ones or the if and def to tell it to include the .h file only one time. So we include all our header files here. Here's my constant. We can make that constant much smaller. It doesn't have to be that large. So if you look in your Zybooks, it's only 30 or something like that. Then we have our constants. We have an enumerated data type. If you're not familiar with it, it's a very simple list data type. So enum is a syntax. The name of the enumerated data type is genre in this case, and I have a list here that is valid. So you can pick a genre from this list. Now you can always have integer constants for this and say, well, zero is action, one is family, two is comedy. The important thing is to be able to present a good user interface, a good user experience. So even if you use integer constants, you, want, you don't wanna say your genre is zero, because that doesn't make any sense to me. So we'll see how to do some of those things. And if you use integer constants, you make sure you translate them into strings when you output it to the user. Here is our struct for the video. It has four data members. One of them is the enumerated data type. If you use an integer constant, this would just be an int for you, which is perfectly fine. You have a char array for the title, you have an int for the quantity, and you have a double for the rating. And here are all our functions. Some of the things I wanna point out are, of course, if you're using an enumerated data type, then the read genre and the print genre essentially reads the genre in a certain way because it's an enumerated data type. And the print genre helps us translate the values into strings because these internally are really numbers. Action is zero, family is one, comedy is two, horror is three, and illegal is um, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you must have some kind of an illegal to catch any of the illegal um, categories that they might enter. The rest of them, you notice there are some overloaded functions. Those are the things I want to point out. I'm not going to go over the whole thing because a lot of these things you're familiar with. If you notice, all the functions take a char, well, some of the functions take a char array and a file stream variable. The file stream variable comes in by reference, which is very important. This is an overloaded function. One function takes the input file stream variable. The other function takes the output file stream variable. So one opens the input file, one opens the output file. You don't have to follow all of these exactly. You can do it however you want to, as long as you follow the requirements of any of the assignment that you have. Search by title takes the list of videos and the number of videos in that array. So always an array and the count, an array and the count. We search by title, search by genre, then we have the load data function, which takes the file stream variable, reads from the file, puts it into the array. Notice this int goes by reference, which tells me how many videos do I have in there. So that gets updated, so it has to go in by reference. Now, add video takes the array of videos, the count. Again, we are adding a video, so the count will change. And one video object by reference. We'll see how we use this. 
Show list simply prints the videos from the array and the size. Remove, again, takes the array of videos and the account, which is what that is, by reference, because when you remove a video, the count will get updated. The number goes down by one. And the right data, which essentially at the end of the program takes this array and the size and a file stream variable to write out to the same file because the next time we read from the file we want it to be updated so it writes it out to the same file so these are all important things to notice on the right hand side we have the implementation file now notice the open file takes a file stream variable for input opens the file and checks to see if the file does not open it simply quits the program now you can always make it a boolean function so it returns true or false and check it in main same thing for open file with the output file stream variable read the open the file if it doesn't open you can return true or false or you can quit after you output an error message Search by title pretty much takes the array and the size goes through a for loop, asks the user to enter the title to search for, use the scene.get or scene.get line um, to read and goes through and uses the string string function to do a partial comparison, not an exact comparison and prints. Now print the genre again, the print genre is something that is a special function that will take the genre and output a description, which is a char array. So you have to do that because an enumerated data type is a little different. It, it is stored internally as numbers. And so if you don't do this function, it is going to print it as numbers and that's not very user friendly. Okay, so you will do something similar if you're using integer constants as well. Search by genre works exactly the same way, so I'm not gonna go over it. It reads the genre and it tries to find the movie with those genres okay load data pretty much reads from the file you know how to read from a file by now it reads from the file and it populates this video array with all the information and it updates the size okay and most of this stuff is for the genre again for the enumerated data type and then we read all the other information from the user we read it directly into the array notice. Size is the one that tells us um, where we are inserting. And in this case, we are not inserting sorted or anything. We are always inserting at the end of the array. Now, if your assignment requires you to insert sorted, you have to do a little bit more work to compare and insert it in the right position. And these are some things that we have seen in 161B um, when we talk about shifting and inserting and things like that. Uh, here is another add video, which is an overloaded function. This overloaded function, um, the other overloaded part of this function is in tools.cpp, which we will take a look at. So what we do here is we pretty much take the array and the size and we take a single video and we pretty much insert it into the array and increment size. Notice this A video coming in is this function is going to be called from main.cpp or from tools.cpp. We'll see that in a minute. So we have the load data, which loads directly into the array. Notice the load data does not call this add video function. This add video function is coming from, on the left-hand side, I'm going to go to tools.h to show you what's in there. Tools.h has all the utility functions. Read int, display menu, which displays the menu, read option to read the option from the user, execute command to execute those options. Again, these are all things that you have seen in 161B. We take the option, we take the array and the size, and we do something in execute command. And here is another add video. So here is the overloaded counterpart of this add video. Notice this add video takes the array, the size, and a single video. This add video takes a single video only. So let's see what this add video does. Go to tools.cpp and look at this add video function here, which takes a single video by reference. And where is this coming from? So take a look at your execute command function. So if you just do colon one, I'm in VI, it takes you to the first line. So execute command is the one that pretty much looks at the menu and if the user enters A to add, it checks if the size is equal to cap, then we say, no, you can't add anymore. 
movies. If not, we call this ad video. I notice a single video which gets created here. So it all starts with execute command when the user says, I want to do A to add a video, right? So we come here, we create a single video. We send that to the add video function. So if you do colon add video, it's gonna go to actually colon slash add. Will take me to the line where there is the word add. And here we are the add video function where we take that single video that was declared in execute command. So if I do slash execute command, it's gonna take me to the execute command function. Here we created a single video, which is empty, doesn't have anything. We send that to the add video function. So colon slash add will take me to that add function. And if I do next, 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 here's my add video function. And for next, it takes me to the next occurrence of that word. Now here is that video coming in by reference. And what are we doing here? We are simply reading input from the user. Enter a movie name, read it into a video title, enter the quantity. I'm doing data validation, read it into a video quantity on the left hand side, enter a movie genre, read it into that. So we're simply populating that a video. Okay. After we populate, what happens? Go back to execute command, and you will notice after we populate it, we are calling this other overloaded function on the right hand side to add it to the list. So we're sending that a video which was sent by reference here in tools.cpp, comes back filled, turn around and send it to the array size and the single video to this function on the right-hand side in video.cpp. And all we do here is take that video and add it to my list of videos at position size and increment size. Okay, so take a minute to think about it, look at it and see how it works. That is the most important part of this where we add the next important part we are on the right hand side still looking at video.cpp the show list simply goes through and prints the contents of the list which you know remove video is where you shift and remove by now you know how to shift and remove numbers you're doing exactly the same thing here you're removing a video and you've done some of this as well so you read the index of the video that you that they want to remove and you go through and you pretty much go through this loop and you shift and you decrement size Okay, and those are the important functions here. Tools.cpp, as you know, pretty much goes through the menu, the read option, execute command, which figures out what to do with each one of the option. Always check to make sure you're not going array over capacity. Read in does data validation. And then we just saw how to how the add video overloaded function works. And again, you don't have to do it exactly the same way. You can do it however you want, but think about all these features that you have learned to put it together. And if we go look here, there is a make file that you can take a look at. You can always try and work with the make file and it shows how to compile all the individual files. We start at the bottom, we remove any uh, .o files that are first there. Then we compile tools.cpp, we compile driver.cpp, video.cpp, and then put it all together. Now, if you want to use the minus G option, you must add that here. Notice it's not there. So you must edit this file and you can add that if you're doing this on the server. If you're doing it on Replit, then it automatically does the make file for you. And once you're done with all of that, you can either do the make file, just run make, and it will do that for you or I'm gonna do make clean to remove all the files and then you can do G plus plus minus wall. And you can do this on Replit minus G. I have a video that shows you how to do all of these things. Uh, star.cpp minus O video will compile it. And no errors and we run it dot slash video. See how the program works. Let me clear the screen for a second. And you do dot slash video, it runs the program. This is what the end result is. So I do D, it reads everything from the file notice. So on the right hand side, I'm gonna go into the text file just to show you um, videos.txt. So this is what we had in our text file. And that's what you see here, right? So let's say, I'm gonna quit out of this so we can see how it updates the file. You can add a movie, enter a movie, um, let's enter Wonder Woman and quantity, I don't know, two. 
movie genre, I'm going to say A for action. And the rating of the movie, we'll put in the number. And so now if I do D to display, you should see I have a new movie in there. And if I type in an option that is not there in the list, it should give me an error message. If I want to find a movie by genre, and if I put in something that's not there in the list, it doesn't do data validation, which is not a good thing. So G for genre, and if I put in F for family, so there's one movie, I can do uh, R to remove, and there's a list, and let's say I remove uh, number five, and then you do to D to display the list again, and there number five is gone, right? And then you can do Q to quit, and it should quit. Now, if you go here and look at that same file, notice now that movie that I deleted is gone from this and Wonder Woman has been added. That is the point of reading from a file and writing back to the same file so your file database is updated. So think about some of these things and if you have any questions, please contact your instructor so we can help you with this.